All right, so Leona Swain Control. Let's start off with the new one, right? Leona, a four mana three five uh, that has Daybreak. Daybreak is a new mechanic introduced in this expansion. It gains a bonus if this is the first card you play in a round. So if the card says Daybreak on it and you play it, you get the Daybreak effect. Her Daybreak effect is Stun the Strongest Enemy. She levels up when you've activated four Daybreak uh, effects, right? And I think that means not counting herself. We'll, we'll find out. But when she levels, she becomes a 4-6 and says Daybreak, or whenever you activate another Daybreak, stun the strongest enemy, right? And um, her ability is called Solar Flare, like that awesome Dragon Ball Z move that all the humans used to do to get away from big baddies like Cell and Frieza. the heck is daybreak i just explained daybreak friend all right tldr first card you play if it has daybreak it gets the daybreak effect there we go just tuning in the new it's a new world the new world all right so swain swain is a goodie from the last uh expansion five mana three six with fearsome so it can only be blocked by creatures with three or more power whenever it deals damage directly to the nexus it deals three damage in addition to the enemy nexus it does a total of uh, six damage when it's not blocked they level up when you have dealt 12 non-combat damage and then when you deal non-combat damage uh, to the enemy nexus it stuns the strongest back row enemy uh, and uh, yeah it becomes a four seven with the same effect so this deck uh, basically has the whole Noxus package that we had before with Culling Strike for removal, Death's Hand for removal, um, Arachnoid Sentries to stun things, Ravenous Flock to deal damage to units that are stunned or damaged, um, and, you know, Leviathan to tutor out Swain, uh, yada yada. And then we got the new cards. We have a whole bunch of Daybreak cards, like Solari Soldier, which is a two mana, or I'm sorry, a one mana two two that... When they're played, if they're the first card played, they get plus one, plus one. Uh, Solari Shield Bearer, Daybreak, give me plus zero, plus four this round, so it becomes a three, six, so end of turn. That's really great when you're being on the defensive, like your opponent plays something, you in response play the Solari Shield Breaker, and it's like, yep, this is my three mana, three, six, deal with it. Uh, we have Bastion, which grants an ally spell shield at first speed. Spell shield is, negates the next enemy spell or skill that would affect me. Honestly... I, I'm gonna see this this card's gonna probably get nerfed because <laughs> deny kept getting nerfed and this is just a better deny in most cases <laughs> uh, spell shield negates any enemy spell that would affect them so it includes sweepers like ruination it's really stupid uh yeah uh, we also have hush which is a three mana burst spell that silences a unit this round then creates a fleeting hush in hand Solari princess uh, Daybreak Invoke, a celestial card that costs four or five or six. Invoke is a new mechanic where you are given an option of three cards to pick from, and then you pick one and add it to your hand. And they are from the celestial card pool. They are cards that you cannot put in your deck at all. And they're just random. Uh, and this is this is probably one of the best cards in the Daybreak uh, archetype, right? The five mana five five Raven or Robin Raven Raven. Daylight Sphere. Daybreak. Create a random Daybreak card in hand. Passive. It's always day for us. So what this means is, when this card is out, no matter how many cards you play, you always have Daybreak. So if you have a full board with Leona and Raven out on there, it gets wild. Yeah, that is definitely saucy. Um, yeah, okay, so... One of the other things that I want to talk about, uh, about what we're doing here. So, do not come to me in the YouTube comments or on Twitch or any going and going, wow, this deck looks sweet if we win a bunch or if we lose a bunch and you still want to play it. This game has now just entered the Wild West. And what I mean by that is when a, when a new expansion or balance change happens, don't craft anything until the meta stabilizes. So you know if you are like someone who doesn't have a lot of money to spend or wild cards, that way you do not waste your wild cards. 
It is, I do not know how competitive any of the decks we're going to be playing are tonight. Which is fine. That's going to be the fun part is trying to figure it out. But trust me, if you are somebody who is not going to be like, you know what, I got $100 to burn. I'm going to just buy a bunch of cards, right? And you're like, I play free to play and I'm trying to keep it, keep it, uh, you know, in check. So I'm not spending any money. Don't craft anything until we, we see what the meta kind of looks like. Because even... Even in like two weeks or so, they might even just go, hey, this card's really overtuned and we're going to just nerf it. So it's patch day, so be prepared for people to, you know, have some issues with, um, with stability and whatnot. All right, so they're Ionia and Targon, so they're probably a control deck because they're playing Aurori and Soul, the new, the new Doofus. So I think we're on the aggressive. I think I actually like this hand. So, you know, let's just play it out. We can kind of curve out and we've activate daybreak four times so it looks like we we don't have to have this card see the daybreak effects they can just happen so i feel like we're the aggressive one in this matchup yeah and we're attacking on odds so this three three for one man is going to be sweet the Larian soldier it's a daybreak Take your full, do your three damage. And then we got some new emotes here. I'm drinking my juice. My juicy juice. This is the new board, and this is Cosmo. Cosmo is the new pet. They get a little celestial bone to chomp. I love it. You bought a pair of headphones for your phone, and I can hear the stream clearly. You can hear clearly now the static's gone. My faith protects me. Okay. Well, I think we're just going to take the three here, right? Yeah, we're just going to take the three. I have a good turn four with this daybreak, so I kind of want to get this challenge warrior thing going on here. Yeah. We might not want to play Leona out next turn now that I think about it because we can't protect her. She is a three five, but what do they have that can do anything? So while, um, while the Solari Priestess comes out, it kind of looks like it takes a while, but the person is being given a choice of what cards to play. So if they play something big, we can Leona. I feel the new pet is cute. I like its color scheme. Yeah, look at Cosmo. Cosmo, say hi. There we go. I don't know. I don't know if I want to play Leona here or if I want to um, pass. I think I'm going to pass. Her light will always rise, but now I'll play it because now they don't have any mana here. Another 3-3 three, three can't do anything. That's pretty nice. We, we basically always want to have three mana up for the Bastion. So, I could Death's Hand this 3-2. Death's Hand the 3-2. I could play a Warrior spell and then have Challenger. They have six mana. They could play their own Leona. So if I play the warrior, I won't be able to culling strike their Leona. So I think I'd rather just like death's hand this, and then uh, see what they do. This being a three-two, it doesn't trade favorably. All right, we can Noxian fervor. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's a three. It's a four. Oh, good golly. So it stuns this. I didn't count how many they had. I'm so mad 
Because I could block this with Bastion. Oh, it's so tilting. The sun's holy light. Doesn't really do much there. I kind of want to keep this for when I draw a ravenous thing. I think I just bank my mana. Very upset about that. I, I did not think that was my big downfall. Did not think. We're going to stun that. I'm going to kill that. Then I'm going to deal three to this to deal three to that. And then we bank two spell mana. Okay, our Swain might pull us through here. We just really want to keep the mana going. Alright, so I think we're going to actually Warrior, then grab their 5, uh, their 4, 6, their Leona. Right? Look at this angel thing. The strongest star in the night sky, they say, is that of the warrior. An ancient being, though immortal, thought immortal, who descends from the stars to prove his worth in combat... Never has he been beaten, but all stories must end and all stars must die. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Go straight up. We gotta kill that now. We gotta kill their Robin. That sucks. It spells and abilities, right? I didn't just mean that. Yeah, enemy spell or skill. I was going to be, like, real mad if I punted. The sun's splendor revealed. I would like some coffee. I want to trade my 3-2 for my 1-1. One, one. Um, I think I'll, I'll attack here, and if they want to trade a 2-2, two, two, they can. Uh, coffee and some an apple or something would be great. All right, so this this not great. I could still kill this, thankfully, and we're going to need to. This good this provides them with value. Value is when you get a secondary effect off a card. Okay, so kill that. They get to play something. They're gonna pass back because they don't have anything for Anna. Kill that. So we're very behind, but next turn we get to play the Leviathan, and the Leviathan's a big, big one. We might be able to turn it around. Yeah, I think we just play Leviathan and go, what up, fam? And it'll be like... Okay, so they get a five mana celestial card. And this is daybreak, so it's gonna stun my dude. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Behold the sun's holy light. Have a wonderful stream. Thank you, Nutter. You have a good one. Alright, so we drew our swain. Okay. Down from the trees. They attack for two. I'm worried about Aurelian Soul. This thing's a big one. They're not fun to deal with. Okay. Perfect draw, actually. Spell shield.
We're not gonna play anything because we want our we want uh, to hold up the mana for Bastion. Bastion is gonna save us here. So in four turns they're dead. I like how we haven't had any other daybreak units. It's like, come on. Come on! Come on, break the day! I mean, we have this, but, like, there's no real pur purpose to play it. We want to play Swain. We'll play this next turn. Oh, man, I am, like, clenching my teeth. Isn't that right, Cosmo? Cosmo! Cosmo, don't eat that bone! It's the shape of a bow tie! Cosmo, stop! Okay, I'm willing to let them stun that. That's fine for me. Because we can just, you know, culling strike it next turn. We can block favorably. There's really no incentive for us to just, you know... Not do anything. Okay. Like, I wasn't even going to attack with the Leviathan. I want this to live. I don't know all the new cards... So I'm like, please, please, God. Yeah, all them stun bit. Yes, this is the best draw in the deck. We have so much mana, maximum deck. No, that's the worst one. That's what we were trying to avoid. Well. Fifteen mana. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. You're fifteen to all enemies. Alright, alright, alright. So our our Leona levels up and stuns their ten ten, but their ten ten has the spell shield on it, so right? Not, that's not what happened. Oh, they will shine. Does this have... The guilty were bad. They don't have any more spell mana or creature mana. So I'm going to chump block here. Kill this. So that way this doesn't level up next turn because they're one shy and then we're also going to get rid of their stupid daybreak the sun's splendor revealed. all right so our turn comes this has fearsome yeah that has fearsome All right, so we're just going to attack, and if they have, like, Will of Ionia, we're going to play Bastion. But we basically just win this. Woo! 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 Victory Howl! Ooh, no. Mm, 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 mm. You don't have anything. Stop it. Okay, they want to silence that into a squirrel for a turn. Whatever. I'm okay with that. You can't whimsy Swain. It still has fearsome. It, it's still lethal. Oh no! They say he's got to go. Go, go, Swainzilla! Bastion up! Yes! You lose, Major Sessions! Ah! <laughs> stun! I'm the stun queen now! What we're gonna get? Noxus aggro. I actually think we have a good aggro matchup, if we're being real. I really do. This is not a good aggro matchup, so. Well, again, everything but the culling strike. Mmm. So good. These are so good, the three twos for four. Especially if they don't have a one drop. Don't have a one drop, one time. One time, one time. Pass, don't have it, don't have it. Uh-uh, not in this place. Bastard! 
All right, let's see if they try and drop something here. Come on, you want to do it. You want to drop another one? Yeah, you do! 3-6, baby! Yeah! That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. Stolari Priestess. Come on. Deal four damage to an enemy and then to uh, to an enemy and one to another. I really like that. Obliterate. Obliterate an enemy. Fallen Comet. Or Ridden the Stars. Draw a champion. Reduce its cost. And then grant it plus two plus two. We already have two champions here. So I think the best thing is the Meteor Shower to just kind of like maybe play this next turn if they play more to the board. That's so good. All right. All right, all right. This is such a good draw. This is so good. What? What's my what's my prerogative here? Do I just let him have the the Draven attack? Or do I kill him? I think I kill. But you know what? All right, let's see if they play anything. I think one three damage happening is fine. Killing their three two is not a big deal. And we also have Leona. And also if they play anything else out, what do they got here? That's bad news, bears. All right. So, do I want to go to a, an 11? I don't think I want to go to 11, chat. I think I want to kill this. This next turn I can meteor shower. Yeah. I'll take I'll take 4. 4 is more reasonable, right? Thank that mana. Do I do the Solari Shield Breaker? I think I do because next turn I'm going to block anyway. Uh, well, next turn I'm going to attack. Right? That's excellent that they played the biggest fan afterwards because we're going to kill that thing. All right. So here we go. Kill these two on their turn. Uh, let's see. Meteor Shower is going to deal four to the Draven, then one to the Saboteur, and then we have two blockers. Yeah. Transfusion, huh? There's no way they... That was a good, uh, good pull from her. All right, so... I think we're gonna attack for six. If they want to block, did we just pun get punished? Whirling death. All right. So we just got we just got punished, but like real talk, this isn't that bad for us, right? Especially if he adds to the board, we Leona. All right, you got axes. Yeah, you want to add to the board. You don't want to just deal three. I'm at 15. Ah, ah, get punished. Behold the sun's holy light. That's so good. That's so good for us. So, I could play... I think I play Raven. Level up Leona. I am the bulwark against darkness. They should have dealt me the three damage, chat. This really hurt them. Okay. Okay. 
Noxian fervor is pretty nice. Alright, what do we got here? Deal three. We'll be at 11, but our whole board's trade, really? No, our Leona stays up. We have a backup Leona, too. Now we're cooking. Mm, that's fair. I'm okay with our board's trading, chat. Like, I'm at 15. I'm at 11, but I have... I have, um... I have a Leviathan? <laughs> Come at me, Draven. That's cute. What else do we got? Finally. I deal double damage to the Nexus. I like that. But it's our turn. So we just ground them out. Oh, yes. Hush. Hush, little aggro deck. Don't say a word. Mama's gonna make you uninstall this game. All right, we're just gonna pass and see what they do. Oh, hey, look, all three of your units are stunned. <laughs> it's not fair, right? Life steal. Got it. <laughs> So, they're all stunned again because every time at the beginning of my turn, the Leviathan deals one damage to three to the Nexus three times. And then Swain, every time the Nexus is dealt damage, I um I stun the strongest unit in the back row. So we just lock them out. Get controlled! Mm. Oh, we got a mirror match here. Oof. I don't know. I don't know how to play this mirror match. For when we need the backup Swain. We got two. I think I'll just bank the spell mana, right? See what they play? Just bank the spell mana. Come on. Yours is the one true light? Ours is the one true light! I don't- I don't know how to feel about this. It feels like we'll both just end up passing, so do I- Do I not get the stun here? I think I'm just gonna hold up the Leona and be like, yeah, whatever. No! They could culling strike me! Ah! No, but I'm holding up three mana, presenting that they might not have an answer here. That's actually really good. That's really good for me. Damn it, they did have the culling strike. All right. But you know what? They don't have the culling strike for the Swain. Thinking ahead. Hey, we drew our backup, Leona. Our sun will not set today. So... Stun that. That's some bad news, though. We don't want that. That was bad. Wish we had- I wish we had more damage, chat. I'm going to attack and see what they do. That is- No, no, you want to take the damage. D damn it! I was trying to debate him, chat. Alright, um... We have a backup, Swain. Let's do it. Don't you dare. All right, I was about to say, if you had another one, 
If you had another one, it's gonna be meme. That's actually great. Six eight. Okay, so um, no. <laughs> All right, you can stun my dude. It's fine. They want to attack. Perfect. Bastion. Hush. Hush, little nerd. That didn't work. I had a fleeting one in my hand. Funny how that worked, huh? Hush is annoying. Oh, this got this got six eight still. No, I didn't mean to do that. I should have done the shield breaker. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd, 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 nerd. Nerd, 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 nerd. Yeah, okay. We're gonna we're gonna uh, get rid of their Swain. I think we're we're okay here. Our is Blessed daylight surrounds you. Oh my God! Could you stop drawing good cards, champ? on such good cards so we're gonna that doesn't stun their thing does it uh. still gonna stun that you got another bastion How is this compared to like magic and hearthstone? Uh, it's not predatory and good. Uh, hopefully that has answered your question. Alright, stun that. Ninja Bush, thank you so much for the 30 months of support with Twitch Prime. You help keep the channel growing and the content flowing. Right, what do they got here? If you are looking to play a card game and not have, like, and be able to actually play free-to-play, it's great. Sunlight guiding my I think we're just, we're supposed to go for this. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. We're gonna we're gonna shuffle another Leona in our deck. And we're gonna give everybody plus two plus two. And it's gonna trigger twice. So they get to play something. And we're just going to attack full force. What's really great is Swain is not going to level up, but going to deal like a butt ton. I mean, that's not great. But they can only block with two creatures because three of them are stunned. So...
Oh, it's it's gonna do it twice. Man, like, oh, this matchup is... They are just outvaluing us, huh? So they're gonna block the Swain. Block one of these dudes, and then they're gonna take 10? Not bad. If we draw Leviathan, it's just game over, right? Leviathan's the best draw in the deck. We've gotten them so low that it doesn't even... We could even, like, high roll on the Solari Priestess, right? There's possibly a deal three. Okay. I'm okay with this. Okay, they, they stun that dude. We're gonna replace this 3-1 with our 1-2. Invoke. Create a celestial card amongst three in hand. I guess this one? Done their biggest unit. Now if they open with attacks, we just block, right? Okay. Okay, they want to kill our Swain. I think I play another Solari Priestess, get another... Obliterate an enemy. That's the one. That's the one. That's real good, actually. Alright, you have stunned me again. So, they want to trade these? We're going to play this and invoke. Um, this one. The Destroyer. Maybe we should have taken that, the, the Falling Comet. I mean, honestly, if we play... If we get a Leviathan, we just win, right? Alright, so... We're gonna stun something here, and then get another Priestess. Okay. So, all we need is the Leviathan, and we're not going to draw it. That's so gross. I don't need that in my life. Don't need that in my life. I think we're going to play a Solari Soldier. Because it's going to either high roll and um, block the 4-3 with lifelink. No, it blocked the wrong one. Gross. Wait, we could still possibly just attack, right? Alright, if we attack with everything, do we just straight up win? I think we might, actually. Right? So, no, this would block, this would block, no, well, this would block this, this wouldn't. No, I think we just go all in, right? They have to block or else they die. That's for blockers. They kill that. So 
we keep four of our things and they have two spell mana left. We get rid of their swain and we have a lot of we have a lot of beef. So we play Falling Comet, obliterate one of their units when they play something. No, but they have Bastion. All right, let's see if they um if they have the burst spell. If they have Bastion, then what we do is we death hand it in response. Yeah, they had it. Gross. That's gonna die and obliterate. That's an excellent draw for us or for them, but it's not gonna do enough. And we're gonna deal one to the Nexus. Feel the sun's glory. They deal eleven. We open it on attacks. They block, block, yeah, yeah. Do they have an answer? They probably they have a spell. Heal your nexus by two. Okay. That was uh that was an answer. Is there a referral link? No, no. But if you want to tell Riot Games that you got into the game because of me, I appreciate that. I'm gonna try and kill the Leona. Perfect. All right, again, we're really close, but we have a we have a destroyer here with spell shield. <laughs> so, you know, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play this Solari soldier so we can easily attack uh, block a four seven with it. Man, all these games have been very clutch. They are hanging on by a thread. Our decision to grab the Obliterate uh, spell really paid off. Sweden. 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 Okay. So, Golden Sister summons a Silver Sister with Elusive. So now, like, we're really far ahead still. Okay. Yeah, we're we're about to win this. <clears throat> yep. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching our video. Now to give a special shout out to our sponsor tier patrons. Neji Kuma, we appreciate all the support you give to us. You keep the channel growing and the content flowing. If you want to be alerted to when we post a new video, make sure to ding that bell next to the subscribe button. If you like the content you see here, then consider tossing us a follow on twitch.tv forward slash fierce ferrets. And if you're really feeling the ferrety love, please consider supporting our work at patreon.com forward slash fierce ferrets. We don't make any money here on YouTube, so we rely on the generosity of our Twitch and Patreon subs listed in these credits here to bring more quality entertainment to you. And you'll get some great rewards for helping out. Thanks again, friends. And we'll see you next video.